Last night, we heard a lot of talk about the so-called blue wave with Democrats making gains during the midterms. And today, it's all about the pink wave with a record number of women running for Congress and winning those seats. Kelly Worthman joins us live in Denver tonight. And Kelly, you talked to a local woman who made history in Colorado's election. Karen, for the first time since the 1950s, a Democrat will serve as Colorado's Secretary of State. Voters elected Jenna Griswold, an attorney from Estes Park, and now she will become the first ever Democratic woman to hold that position. I am honored to be Colorado's next Secretary of State. It's a historic win not seen in decades. It was something that I, I think a lot of people didn't expect. In her first ever run for office, 34-year-old Jenna Griswold unseated her opponent. You get a surge of excitement like, wow, we did this. And it's not, uh, wow, I did this because I didn't do it alone. And Jenna is not alone in her historic victory. She is among dozens of women across the country breaking barriers. I wished we weren't breaking barriers, right? Uh, it's, it's 2018. Voters elected candidates with backgrounds never seen before in Congress, like the first two Native American women, the youngest woman at just 29 years old, and two Muslim women, many winning by a landslide. In Minnesota, it's a cold state, but the people have warm hearts, and we don't just welcome immigrants, but we send them to Washington. Jenna believes the historical wins add much needed diversity to American leadership. It's important that in a democracy that all our voices are heard. And while she's ready to get to work in Colorado, she's hopeful women everywhere will keep fighting for change. The marches, the organizing, it can't stop because there are equality issues that still need to be worked on in this country. And the groundbreaking midterm elections this year have been dubbed the year of the woman. And Jenna says she is honored and humble to be part of it. Reporting live in Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First. Thanks, Kelly.